this is Jennifer Dean from mindbodybride.com and you're joining me today for a workout with the Overwhelmed Bride where I'm going to take you through three different variations of planks. I can't wait to see you in the workout. Starting with reviewing the basic plank. Have your wrists under your shoulders and then step your legs back about hip distance apart. Pull your abdominals all the way up to your back and keep your hips lifted. If this is too challenging, you're gonna lower your knees onto the floor, keeping the hip crease open. You can also lower your forearms with the hands separated or clasped together. It's really important to remember that plank is about your abdominals and that the more you can press away from the floor using your arms and your legs, the stronger that you're going to feel. Keep breathing and every time you exhale, draw that navel closer to your spine. Start with the forearms on the floor with the hands shoulder distance and then step the legs back and squeeze them together. Pivot the pelvis and lower one hip down towards the floor, return through center and then come back to the other side. Try and keep equal pressure through your forearms and you're just moving the body from the rib cage down. If this causes any knee issues, I encourage you to skip this move and just hold a basic plank. For the staggered side lifts, come into side plank position. Lift one arm up, and then lift the top leg up. Alternate the arm and the leg, pressing away from the floor with that bottom arm. Your option is to do this with the knees down to give yourself a little bit more support. Here we're focusing on the obliques, which are the muscles at the side of the waist. So really lift that underside waist away from the floor like you're creating a rainbow with your spine. Our final move in our three-part plank challenge is the reverse plank. So with the fingertips pointing towards the feet, you squeeze your butt and you lift your hips up to come to one long line. Keep your eyes down towards your toes to keep your neck long. If this is too much pressure on your shoulders, you're simply going to bend your knees and put the feet flat onto the floor and use your legs to assist you to come up. This is strengthening the back of the body and it's also stretching open the chest. It's a really great exercise to add into your repertoire. I hope that you enjoyed the variations of planks today. Thanks for joining me for this workout and I hope to see you at mindbodybride.com where each week I share new recipes, workouts and wedding stress busters for the busy bride-to-be. I'll see you there.